Welcome back. It's bathing suit season. How would you like to get rid of your saddlebags? That stubborn fat on the outer thighs that just doesn't go away no matter what you do at the gym. 8 News anchor Amy Lacey explains how it's possible and pretty much pain-free in this 8 News special report. Ah, uh, summer vacation. Sun, surf, and saddlebags. The reality set in for Rebecca Donsale. No matter how much I exercise, I don't care how many leg lifts I do, what I do, that fat never goes away. So now the 53-year-old mom of two is fighting back with cool sculpting. This non-invasive procedure was FDA approved about four years ago for belly fat. And now there's a way to treat the outer, upper thighs too. You literally just lay there and it feels like a bit of a cold applicator going on your thighs, no pain, no real discomfort. Dr. Rep Sundin says this machine destroys fat cells by freezing them. Once the paddle is on, it does all the work over a few hours. But after about 10 minutes, I feel nothing. I'm just sitting here. Two hours here, two hours here, so I'm four hours away. But yeah, should be good. Dr. Sundin says some patients are tender or notice tingling post-procedure. Most of the time, the symptoms fade in just hours or days. He also points out the full results aren't immediate. It typically takes three to four months for the body to eliminate all the targeted cells. But in the end, most patients see a 25% reduction in fat after just one treatment and no downtime. No one's got time to take off from work in this economy. No one wants to go to surgery. People all want to look better. And Don Sill is confident she will. She got cool sculpting on her abdomen a couple years ago and still loves what she sees. So she can't wait to see what her thighs look like after freezing the fat away. I'm like excited, yeah. Cool sculpting costs $1,400 for both thighs, and Dr. Sundin says most patients opt for one or two treatments. It's only been out for a few years, but so far so good. Research has found the loss is permanent if you maintain your weight within a reasonable range. As for Dawn Seal, we're going to check in with her again in a couple of months to see her results. So you want to stay tuned for that. Amy Lacey, 8 News. I am already looking forward to Amy's report with Ms. Don Seal just to see what happens. I want to see how she looks in her bathing suit. I know, <laughs> freezing that fat off. All right, let's go to Katie for an update on that forecast. Katie?